Suppose that you are managing a collection of 1970s environmental catastrophe themed fiction and making it available for text data mining research in the United States. Here are some of the basic questions to think about. Should you allow foreign researchers to query the corpus? Should you accept new additions to the collection from an overseas library? Are you in a position to send a copy of the corpus to overseas researchers? And does it matter if those researchers are housed in a university, a corporate sponsored think tank, or a for-profit corporation? These questions illustrate some of the issues raised by text data mining research in an international cross-border environment. In the materials that follow, we're going to introduce you to some of the conceptual building blocks that you will need to be able to understand and address these kind of issues. Our aim isn't to make you all experts in comparative and international copyright law, but we hope to give you enough information so that you can identify potential areas of concern and understand how to structure cross-border collaboration in TDM research without taking on unnecessary risks. The first step in appreciating the kinds of international and cross-border copyright issues that might be relevant to text data mining research is understanding the relationship between domestic and international copyright law. Copyright law is harmonized across the globe by virtue of various international agreements. The most relevant international copyright treaties are the Berne Convention and the World Trade Organization Agreement on Trade-Related Aspects of Intellectual Property Rights, or the TRIPS Agreement for short. These agreements establish minimum standards for copyright protection that more or less every country in the world has agreed to adopt as part of their domestic copyright law. There's a lot of agreement about many aspects of copyright law around the world, but that agreement is often at a high level of generality. Digging a bit deeper, we find meaningful diversity in how countries choose to implement their international copyright obligations. As a result, particularly in relation to the issues surrounding text data mining research, copyright law can vary significantly from one country to the next. So although international agreements provide important background principles, the law we generally need to focus on is the domestic copyright law of individual countries. Now that sounds simple enough, but we have to complicate this story slightly with respect to the European Union. Copyright law in the EU is harmonized by a series of EU directives. These directives must be implemented in the national law of the various member states but in many cases, the EU directives also have direct effect. This feature of European law explains why in some cases, you will hear us talk about European copyright law as though it were a single consistent body of law. And sometimes this is just a helpful generalization. But in other cases, we focus in more detail on the laws of individual countries.